Right then, this is the Spider-Man Deluxe Arcade Control Panel. Um, this unit has a 256 gig M.2 SSD. It also has our 8 terabyte hyperspin. It comes with two official Xbox 360 controllers. It also has two official Sanwa sticks and a 23 button layout um, official Sanwa buttons. So we have your 8 button layout on this unit as well as the um, select and start there or add coin and start button. We also have the pinball buttons on the side of this unit. Um, on the right hand side here we have two USB 3.0 outputs for the Xbox 360 controllers and around the back here we have the power button there to switch on the unit. Also on the back here we have plugged in a wireless dongle for the keyboard and mouse. This unit also comes with Wi-Fi built in. Um, it's running out of the display port at the moment on this 2k monitor but i have knocked the resolution down to 1080p i recommend if you're rigging this unit up to a 4k monitor or 4k tv to knock down your tv resolution in windows to um, 1080p um, i will put a tutorial up how to do that on another video um, but like i say this unit's recommended to go in 1080p on new 4K tellies like the LG TVs, it do do 120 hertz as well. So this unit will run really, really well at 1080p, 120 hertz um, on them next gen titles like Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, Mortal Kombat XL, and so on and so on. <clears throat> so furthermore, on the back of the unit, I don't know if you can see there, um, we have two HDMI ports off the graphics card there, a DVI port, as well as a display port so this is perfect for connecting to monitors like this or if you wish to have it connected to um a tv and stuff like that you've got them hdmi ports there we do have another two U hdmi ports on the motherboard i haven't really tested these ports i believe they're for the integrated graphics um and they have an extra one two three four three extra usb ports there on the back way four if you include the one that's taken up by the wireless dongle for the keyboard and mouse we'll have four usb 3.0 ports on the back there it also has a mic input and a speaker in um i believe the speaker output so audio out on there as well if you don't get the audio from the hdmi you can also add speakers as well as a lan port for hardware in this unit so all the custom works done by us at Sharkid. So on here we have two um, Spider-Man custom dust covers, um, anti-scratch, scratch-proof resistant dust covers there. And on the front here we have a 80 mil fan instead of a trackball like the last unit. So we have an 80 mil fan with some RGB LED um, glow there, so you can change the color of the LEDs as well as um have a fade in fade out stuff like that and on there is a fan there is holes there where the eyes are and the fan is spinning and there's no grill there so if you get a unit like this with a custom grill on just be extra careful around children sticking the fingers in them holes obviously this is more of an adults um gaming system parents will be allowing kids to play on them just make sure we look make the children wise to not stick the bloody fingers in the holes and end up catching one of the fingers on that fan it does spin very very fast so just be warned like i say this has one of our eight terabyte setups so it comes with um over ninety-eight thousand games it has um next gen titles like tekken 7 street fighter 5 um mortal kombat xl um, Injustice 2 and a load more. There's over 30,000 meme games on the system. So we can just go through as we're on the main menu there. We can go through, hold left or right on the joystick to do a search. And then see if we wanted to go to Street Fighter. I would go to T first. And then I'd hit your select button, your A button I call it. 
and then from T I would go up because there's thousands of games on there there's a lot in S as well you'll be there quite a while searching for st Street Fighter or Super Street Fighter so what I do is go up and then I find Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo if I wish to select that game I'd hit the select button there which is the A button I haven't got the controllers connected at the moment um, but I do recommend once a unit boots up just plug the controllers in start with the top USB port and then the bottom USB port that's for analog systems like um, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 um, the N64 and other controllers that used more than just one D-pad they used analog sticks as well so then on the front here we have the add coin as well as the start button so you'd add a couple of coins a couple of credits on there press start and um, you can also add a second player so add a couple of coins press start and then you've got two players selected there always go for Ryu and Ken um, when we met student we'll have a good bash on Street Fighter usually and we don't usually pick any other characters in Ryu and Ken so then because the sandbox sticks they're in instantly responsive so you have your light punch medium punch hard punch light kick medium kick hard kick downside with um the sanwa buttons on the um hyper spin setup they are super sensitive so when you're going through the menus even if you lightly press the select button it's gonna go into the menu i mean they are super sensitive we can't add any other t button types to these units because there isn't a lot of space in them this is one of the world's smallest custom high-end arcade setups and um, there's no one that i've come across online that's building and um, control panels this small and this compact um with something as high end as the eight terabyte setup we offer like i say this setup plays um next gen titles so i'll go to them now so if i just hit down the menu to pc fighting games go into there and then we'll have next gen pc fighting titles like killer instinct mortal kombat 9 mortal kombat 10 and um, soul caliber 6 street fighter 5 and um, street fighter x tekken street fighter 4 tekken 7 dead or alive 5 dragon ball fighter z and um, i've not seen many arcade cabinets high-end arcade cabinets with that game on and um, really really cool game beautiful looking artwork on there and um, the comic style artwork is absolutely amazing the gameplay is amazing as well so let's head over to Tekken 7 be aware on PC fighting titles the left pinball button doesn't exit out the system you have to exit the game via the main menu so any game that's PC title related you would just go into that um, game's main menu and exit via the main menu and that will exit straight back to hyperspin so the custom grill I've done on the front here is just Spider-Man's mask there with um, another layer of clear acrylic underneath there and then it's on a, another layer of acrylic as well as another layer of clear acrylic and it's a nice quadruple layered custom grill. You've got the LEDs that shine through nicely on there um, and then you've got that nice printed piece of acrylic that really really stands out looks really really colorful and smart on there so we're in Tekken 7 just skip past all these um, intros and stuff so for PC fighting titles the controllers are usually set up A, B, X, Y, L, B, R, B, left trigger, right trigger so if we just go to a versus battle there press start player one because we're on versus and then press start player two and um, this game does take 
quite a bit of configuration to get it to work with the Zinmo arcade sticks but with Sharkade cabinets that's all configured so then um, on this setup as well we've got the DLC characters so we've got Leon there we've got Negan we've got Leroy we've got Fakakuram careful what I say there it sounds like I'm gonna swear um, and then we've got Gang Ryu on there and other characters knocked us out of Final Fantasy 15 I believe let's pick a couple of DLC characters like I say the um, controllers on the next gen fighters do have the extra button maps so for Tekken it's usually the two punches two kicks and then these will be like your grabs and your other double button presses so it's usually them two and them two and them two and them two like that so you can do all your different special moves a lot easier than having a double button press accidentally pressing just one button to the other and um, you can get them perfect double button presses straight off them extra buttons there so it makes the gameplay a lot lot nicer for you right so we have we left punch right punch left kick right kick and then we have our grabs and then grab number two there and then we have with double button presses as them um, two buttons there so same as player two we have our double punches double grabs and stuff like that so then i'll just quit that game And then if we head over to, let's have a look, maybe Street Fighter 5, where is it there, I went past it twice. If you wish to purchase a unit like this, we're all offering them from 1200 quid. I know it sounds pricey, but the mini PCs inside are quite expensive then you've got to add on the um, 8 terabyte hard drive on top of that with the hyperspin build and then on top of that you've got the official sandwa sticks with the official sandwa buttons there's another 100 and quid or so then there's a acrylic for the top panel and all the bits of extra materials and stuff like that and um, it does knock the price up quite high so you're looking at around 1200 quid for the um control panel with the two xbox 360 controllers as well and um, the wireless keyboard and mouse the usb port extensions um and then if you wish to go with the 1300 quid version we do usually charge 150 quid for a wii controller kit and um, that is another i believe and um, that's 1300 quid with the Wii controller kit and the Wii controller kit will work only on the Wii PC fighting games uh, the Wii games sorry and the PC fighting games like likes of Techno Parrot shooting you know, shoot em ups uh, like um, Rambo and Time Crisis 5 and stuff like that which it's all fu fully configured for and um, for main shooting games it's not gonna they're not gonna really work i've tried to do a fix for the main shooting games with the wii controller kit but there is hot swapping issues once you to install touch mode and start and um, configuring the controllers with touch mode it hot swaps all the controllers so i just avoid it now and um, if you wish to add aim track guns to these you can and you can add a script for it to load with aim track guns but to be honest i just wouldn't waste your money i would wait on until you can get some decent guns like the sind and light guns and stuff when there's more available in stock so then let's go in select a couple of fighters there
as you can see it's playing extremely well same with Tekken 7 playing extremely well on just a small form factor PC it's all at max settings as well at um, 1080p so you're getting full resolution on on the game you're getting high quality textures as well quite difficult to do with one hand so press start on that game head down to go to the main menu and then quit that game So I'll just go through a quick run through of the different systems that's on here. So we have PC arcade games. So we have stuff like Pac-Man Championship 2, Pac-Man DX, Shank, Shovel Knight, Sonic All-Star Racing, Soul Calibur 6, Step Mania, Street Fighter X Tekken, Super Bomberman, Street Fighter 5, Angry Birds Collection, Big Buck Hunter, Blue Estate, which is another cool PC shooting game that also works with a Wii controller kit um, in mode 2, I believe. Then we have Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, um, Crazy Taxi 2, Crazy Taxi 3, Cuphead, um, Dead or Alive 5, Death Smiles, and a uh, load of other cool titles. Then if we head down, we have Pinball Arcade, which is around 40 to 50 pinball tables. And then we have Pinball FX2, um, which is the same, around 40 to 50 pinball tables. Then we have Pinball FX3, which is just basically a repeat of two with a few extra tables on and a few extra tables taken off. And then we do have um, Future Pinball on the setup as well, which is over 500 pinball table classics. So then um, we have stuff like Sega Mega Drive, Sega Game Gear, Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive Japan, Sega M2, Sega Model 3, Sega Naomi, Sega Naomi 2, um, Pico, Sega Ring Edge, Sega Ring Wide. And then if we head down to PlayStation 1, PlayStation Shoot 'em Ups, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, we have PSP Minis, we have Pocket Station, PSP, then we have Street Fighter Collection, we actually have Streets of Rage 4 on here as well, so if we go ahead and select Streets of Rage 4, Then hit enter or select, which is our A button. We can set up the controllers as well. We just plug these controllers in. You can play up the four players. As you can see there, you go through the menus quite nicely. Select, select, and then you can add another player. You can add two players, three players, four players on this um, game. I'll just go back. I'll not go through the gameplay. If you watch me other videos, you'd see the gameplay on those. And then if we head down the main menu to Techno Parrot. So on this setup, there is a 256 gig um, SSD, M.2 SSD. So on there, we've added some extra Techno Parrot games as well as Streets of Rage 4. Um, so on there, we have stuff like Virtual Tennis 3, Afterburner Climax. We have Batman. Um, Fight and Climax, H2 Overdrive, Hyper Street Fighter 2, um, Justice Heroes Unite, um, Let's Go Island 3D, that is in 3D as well as you can press the middle mouse button to put it into 2D, so there's no point having both versions on there, just have the 3D version. Let's go Island Special. That only works with the Xbox controller. I can't seem to get it to work properly with a mouse. It just doesn't seem to calibrate properly. So that game is the only one that only shooting game that works with the Xbox controller. Then we'll have Lost uh, Lost Land Adventure. Little bit of a resolution issue on there. It's not 
completely going full screen but it is playable and we'll have luigi's mansion arcade mario kart dx melty blood persona 4 ultimate persona 4 ultimate um suplex hold and um, poking tournament race driver grid riding 4 rambo school of ragnarok and um, sonic all stars racers star wars battle pod house of the dead 4 time crisis 5 transformers human alliance and back to virtual tennis 3 i've been through today and i've tested all of them games and everything so all them seem to be working perfectly fine um like i say there is a slight issue with the um lost land adventure on the resolution but that's about it so then like i say there's 98,000 games on this unit there may be one or two um games you come across that just don't emulate correctly or um have never emulated correctly that's because of mem but everything else there's thousands and thousands of games and systems on on there um and you could never never get bored of playing on these units so if you wish to purchase one of these contact us at dinacharcade.com we won't be building any for the christmas we're trying to get one more of these units out before the christmas if we can if that mini pc comes and um, if we can get that um, replacement mini pc back then we'll get one more unit out but that's for a customer um, any other orders for the christmas it just ain't gonna happen but if you want one of these for the new year after the way after the new year please contact us at dinachalkier.com and then i'll come up with a true quote and we can get one of these units built for you there is an eight week build period on all our builds but if the parts come in early and there isn't a lot of work in or a huge demand of work in and then these units can be built between in a, in a day two days um tops so then like I say, like, share, subscribe to the videos, hit that notification bell, and I will catch us later. Bye.